I know, like, it's not hard to get a Tonto on this map. The hard part is, like, at this stage of the game, being, like, prioritizing a 2,500 man coin prestige objective, it doesn't seem like the right, uh, it seems like bad target selection. Let me put it that way. I think instead you should worry about the, the campaign as much as possible. <clears throat> Let me see. We used the duck, but we still got ducks. I mean, remote explosives are just like... They're easy. I can't take a Semtex, though. I think we'll just send it. Give it a try. What I don't want to... A couple of things I don't want to see here. I definitely don't want to see... Starting in the in the morgue. I definitely don't want to see targets in the hospital. Ideally, my three targets would be um, all in the bathroom at the same time. Welcome to Hokkaido. Okay, this is also a bit of a spooky start. Never mind. I thought I was on the. I thought I was near the helicopter. We're starting in our own room. I might just relax for a bit. No, we're starting in a lobby. Starting at a table. Dude, do you think we ate that? I mean, they left some choice stuff here. They left the Ebby. They have a knife and a fork. They, you know what? They might have ordered something that's not sushi. I'm not. They might have ordered like a hamburger or something. I'm taking a look. That looks like a chef to me, or, or a worker. That looks like somebody pooping. I am allowed over here. Step one, scope out the targets. Are you security close to the bathroom? You're security inside of security room. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I mean, that... I think that's very doable. I was hoping I could just follow you in. Chat be like, push. I bet when he comes this way. Bet if you handled it right when he's here, you could hit him with a lethal syringe. But let's follow him. He also goes into the sauna. Am I welcome in the sauna as a non-patient? Yes, I am. We just get him alone, poke him in the back, and it's over. Comes over to the corner. Stands around for a minute. He's, he's trying to push his uh, galaxy bud into his ear, but when he pushes it, he accidentally activates the touch control that causes it to pause. Then he pushes it again to try to unpause, but that one just pushes it deeper into his ear. Then he's pushing it again, and it's unpausing, but somehow the volume has been cranked up to 90 instead of 10. He's just like me. <laughs> oh, you, you guys also own galaxy buds? That's just my bad. I'm not supposed to be here. There's, that's the end of Silent Assassin, and that's okay. I need to be a patient to go in there. Noted. Noted. I guess you're not allowed to wear a suit. You're not allowed to, like, look good on vacation. Oh, that's staff. Somebody in here is going to be staff. This is the guy who's naked, right? Doesn't he have an outfit, like, on the ground or something? This is sauna. Don't you have an outfit in here? I'll just pull the fire alarm. He has patron outfit. Patron or patron? Like when T-Pain says, I'm so gone on Patron, I don't know how I'm getting home later on. Now. 
That one? I thought that was me getting insanely sussed. It's just steam. <laughs> Hello. I need a staff outfit. Well, we haven't really screwed this up too much so far. Let's just chill out. Hello, uh, uh, Miss Yamazaki. I remember you. To me, it's like he walks... No, he doesn't walk this path. If he stands right here... No, you're not poking him in the back with a syringe from there. Don't be stupid. <laughs> that's, that's an idiotic play. Be smart. Step one is just get a costume. And one of these is my room. I do have a syringe, but the syringe is very slightly sussed. Is my room? Mr. Jason Portman. You didn't bring syringe? You're absolutely right. I took tranquilizer gun instead. I, I, I'm just being honest, sir. I thought this was my room. Is this not my room? It is my room. Then what the heck was he doing in my room? Getting, getting upset with me for changing into my clothes. He came into my room and was like, what are you doing in here? Oh, there's a story. There's a story here. Okay. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he, des he deserved that one, man. Don't I have coins? I thought I started with coins on me, bed. You were getting undressed? Bro, I was getting undressed in my own bathroom. I hope you're enjoying your stay. That's like the place to get undressed. Well, now we can go into the hospital. I didn't know it was that easy to, to get uh, Jason Portman, honestly. Now. And to you as well. He's about to leave. Oh, I'm not welcome in here. Okay, I know what I... Listen, this is going to take a minute, and I apologize for that. But I know exactly what we must do. By the way, am I allowed to go in the sauna? I am a VIP patient. It's on the other side. Am I allowed to go out of the sauna? Nope. Okay. I mean, here's, here's how it's going to be, okay? Next time he walks in, he goes into this room... That's staff only. I'm not supposed to be there. <laughs> what? Hey God, I'm, I'm lost. It's all about finding the first seam, though. No outfits. NL, do you like to sauna? Not at all. I get um, saunas and hot tubs. I have, like, a limited tolerance. For, like... 30 seconds, I'm like, wow, this is really nice. And then after that, I get insanely sweaty. And uh, it's just not for me. I don't know if I have hyperhidrosis or something, but... That's the point? No, no, no. I get, I get sweatier than you do. That's what I'm going to say. You know how they have, like, that Finnish sauna competition where it's like, who can stay in the hottest sauna the longest? My ass would be in there for four seconds. And I would be out. Same way with the hot tub. Like, anytime we go to, uh, like, ski or snowboard, you, face, you, you literally body Please. blocked me into the wall here. I, I get in the hot tub, and I'm like, wow, this feels great. And then, <laughs> okay, okay, dude. Then three seconds later... I, I take my torso out of the hot tub and I sit on the edge of the hot tub. Then I go like three quarters into the hot tub and one quarter out of the hot tub. Then I go like only my feet are in the hot tub and the rest of my body's out of the hot tub. Then I go like, oh, I gotta, I'm cold. I go down to the shoulders. I go, oh, whoa, this is nice. Actually, it's a little too hot. Okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go half in the hot tub. Like I just never... I need the, I need the hot tubs to be, to be colder, which I... I I could get down with a Korean sauna where you go into like a, uh, you go into a hot tub and then 30 seconds later you go into an ice bath and then you go into a hot tub and then you go into an ice bath. 
That's about it for me. Okay, now this is where we gotta be sneaky. Chibli, what are you talking about? I never know what this guy's talking about. Hey, is that glass? Well, Hang on, I gotta check something. This will surely be a blow to the it's frosted. Oh, I can't go back in. <laughs> I was gonna hide his body. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, we know somebody's gonna find it, but it's okay, we didn't leave any witnesses. Could be worse. Could have been better, but could be worse. It's not Rip Disguise. The dude who saw, who saw us walk in there is dead. Oh, you mean Rip his... Okay, I see what you're saying. I'm allowed here. In many ways. You gotta go back and see the nurse. Who the hell is the nurse? She'll take you in? Who, who the hell is she'll? You're Jason? I know, but we're not talking about Jay. Who's the nurse? Hello? Hello? Gentlemen, Mr. Portman is with me. No need to Life finds a way. Security measures. Thank you, I appreciate that. We've got a new yoga instructor here, JB. Boy, he can stretch like a rubber band. Never seen anything quite like it. If you're feeling sore and the meds aren't doing it, body you found know, out. Really go see him. You know what I was watching last night? I guess there's no way you could conceivably know what I was watching last night. I watched half of Forgetting Ma uh, Sarah Marshall. What a movie. Well, exception of perhaps Kronstadt HQ or Ether's R&D facility in Johannesburg. Why? Oh, you're, you're saying why I get caught for trespassing? Which half? I watched the first half. I, I plan on watching the second half again. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I watched it because it's a good movie. But I understand yours was quite extensive. I'm just not following you. I'm, I'm going into the waiting area. Okay. Never mind. No, I'm not. Nurse, protect me. Must be good to get out a little, stretch those legs. I do love the options available here at Gamma, but I imagine it can get tedious to lie in bed all day. If you haven't been to the gym yet, you should really go. She's still talking? That target is insanely annoying. Okay, Mr. Portman, your surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Am I allowed to just leave? Can you please move away? We I thought we were friends. Okay, I just decided that I need to go take a diarrhea dump. So if you'll excuse Hey guys, what's happening? Is everything okay? I'm here to get my briefcase surgically attached to my torso. But first, I need to take a big diarrhea dump in the bathroom. First, I just need to take a... <clears throat> first, I just need to take a big... First, you have to wait till they're not searching. For a big diarrhea dump? You idiot. And then, oh. lady. You're going to screw this whole thing up for me, lady. Okay, this is all about patience. It's the same nurse? She should honestly get a life. About 
I would settle for a doctor's outfit if they want to give me a doctor's outfit. <laughs> Just give me a moment here. This is going to work. What? He was sus though. Hello, guard. That's actually perfect. Run the sink? No, that's considered wasting water. Lady, get a life. Oh my god, she's so vain. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys to leave real quick. I'm gonna take his gun, if you don't mind. I'm taking a huge diarrhea dump in here. Thank you for your discretion. Now, this is the nightmare. We might as well try to get the other dude first because that one seems conceivable this one seems horrendous i wonder if i could buy you know what would actually make this hit the spot buy an explosive from this guy hide it in the briefcase in the room it's 500 remote explosive classic rubber duck for 500 what the hell is this epic melee ice axe we could use an epic melee, honestly. If you need more, you know where to find me. And where the where the heck is the other the other dude? Am I allowed to get back in here? I don't think I'm allowed to get back in here if I come out, so I gotta There's a crate there too. Oh my mistake. My mistake. Listen, the crates are usually kind of anus, but it's always worth getting. Hey there. Hey there. Anything? I mean, it's nice to have more explosives, I guess, just in case. Hey, while I'm in here with you, I'm going to do the, the right thing here. Can you please conceal a remote explosive rubber duck? That's not how that works, is it? <laughs> Anyone know how this works? <laughs> you don't have to conceal it. I guess I could just sneak in and place it and then walk out. I thought I could hide a primed duck in there and then just be like ready to go. You can? All right. Turns out I don't know what I'm talking about. A duck does work in a briefcase. What a country. Dan, honestly, we got rid of the casino because it created bad vibes. Who would have thought that there'd be negativity associated with gambling? It's first time hearing about it, at least. Um, the bad vibes were because literally people were like spreading misinformation in order to make me lose my campaign to win points that don't do anything. And also, people were actively like rooting against me, which is bad vibes to begin with. This guy's easy enough. I mean, I, I think honestly. Well, so someone should go and see what the hell that was. Copy that. Is that John Oliver? 
silenced firearm kill. We need one. World's most perceptive doctor. Excellent work, 47. You've spread fear within the syndicate. My briefcase. Thank you. And literally, like, once we stopped running the casino, the Hitman gameplay actually improved, like... Without exaggeration, it got at least twice as good. Now, this is the scary part. <laughs> is there a place to hide if I have to? I guess I could just run back to the bathroom. We're having less fun, though. Okay, then leave. Minty boy. Orange text, minty boy. Orange text, minty boy. I'll see you here tomorrow for some more Hitman. Hello. I mean, this... <laughs> This has to be, like, one of the worst rooms to, to get a kill on. Like, this blows. I think you gotta th <laughs> I think you gotta throw the duck in, run into the bathroom. Oh, but there's no hiding spot in the bathroom except the stall. The stall's not a genuine hiding spot. Am I allowed to be in here? Okay, well, like, what if you threw the... Is there a hiding spot in this room? No, there's not. You could throw it here. They'll investigate. Go hide in this uh, locker until they stop searching. I think that's the way to play it. The heck is that? He didn't die. How is that even possible? What, 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 that sofa is not from Ikea, I'll tell you that much. They're over it? <laughs> what the hell? I detonated it. You should get out of there. Sorry. Okay, how about some shaman powder? Shaman powder isn't lethal, okay? It's concussive. <laughs> Do it anyway. Toss that down right here. What? Uh, body found, but he's not. Oh, he's knocked out. I see. Follow it up. We need to find the cause. Check everywhere. With this, walk out. Wait till they're not searching, and then go away. Why shaman powder? Do you want me to... Uh, listen, I'm better at the game than you at this point. I used to take this cyberbullying at, at face value. A couple of reasons. One, it doesn't have a tier to its loot. As a result, if you took it out of the mission, it wouldn't exist anyway. It would turn into vapor, okay? It's ether. Secondly, I wanted to concuss all the witnesses in the room to possibly slow down or minimize the response of the guards because there were like seven guards inside of the room. So I feel like just by... It, we, we concussed three of them, including our target. That at least minimizes the chances that we're going to get riddled with bullets on the way out of here. So that's why I threw the shaman powder in advance, okay? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I, I know what you're talking about. 
All I know, the kind of people who are like, why would you even use the shaman powder? They'll buy like, uh, you know, a bag of chips at the grocery store. Cashier's like, do you want your receipt? They're like, mm, yeah, I might need it someday. You never, listen, you never know. What if I open up the bag of chips and then there's no chips in there? I could at least take it back to the grocery store and be like, what the heck, there's no chips in here. Here's my proof of purchase. I don't have any proof, proof that I didn't eat the chips, but... You, you wanna buy something? I don't want to buy something. The last thing you sold me was freaking garbage, dude. It didn't work. Thanks for the grenade that didn't work. I remember, there's a path down the outside of this, right? Oh! That's why I always film myself opening the chips. True. That's why I always take a video of me holding up today's newspaper. Then I take a, a digital scale and I tear it so it's on zero. And then I zoom in on the, uh, the weight on the outside of the bag. And then I place the bag onto the teared scale. And if there's any discrepancy, I'd say this is ridiculous, Galen Weston. It's off by 10 grams. You're, I'm, I'm going to complain to the Better Business Bureau. Yeah, it's 10 grams too many. I don't want that, those, that level of unsaturated fat in my diet. What they didn't know is that in advance, I hit the bag with gamma radiation in order to vaporize two potato chips. Work, thus allowing me to spread yeah, misinformation on the internet and have you not like me when I'm angry. We go Sapienza, then we go Mendoza. There's only two left. Sniper rifle kill, headshots only, poison guard. Okay, now listen. We have, we have poison in our back pocket as is. We have a silenced pistol. I don't really want any of those at this stage of my life, to be honest. I would absolutely take a remote explosive duck, and then we can talk about the collateral kill. However, this also seems like a time to bring out all reliable. <laughs> the silenced 3x slow down time sniper rifle. Now we're one over gear capacity. Listen to me. I'm from the future. Drop your silence pistol, though that I may regret this. Gear capacity of nine. Obviously, Dan, did you know you could do this, by the way? Did you know you could do this in, um, in Hitman? You can gamble on the stock market. It's me buying meta shares, oh no. Who could have possibly predicted this? You're right. I might have a two. Um, I might have a two gear capacity silence pistol. You know, you're absolutely right. I do. I don't get to rock the extendo mag, but that's okay. Only downside of this right now, no, um, Safe no distractibles. So we gotta like. Hold control, use Hitman Vision, and like steal somebody's blueberry muffin or something. Oh, I got a briefcase. You're absolutely right. And a, we, I think it must have been on this campaign, right? That we bought the silenced uh, sniper rifle. I think we bought like 24,000 man coin, silent, epic silenced sniper rifle. And now we're finally getting to take it for the first time ever. I guess I could have taken it before, but it's nice to have a map that has some like lines of sight. Okay, we start on the balcony. Usually our supplier is right behind us then too. And by usually, I mean the one time I spawned here. Now, some things you may not have to do, but you do them because they're traditions. <laughs> eh, 
every time. Ring, ring, brother. Ring, ring. It's your fault, dude, for having an apartment with such a sick view that also has, like, an amazing sniper vantage point. Like, that's on you. It also has a, a, a good outfit. Like, it's got everything. Desk audit. I mean, I feel bad for the poor guy, but sure, here's your desk audit. Woof. Woof, dude. Disgusting. Trying to see. Didn't, I thought you had, like, a something kitchenable out here. Now, I mean, that's, that's a sniper. In fact, there's two... Beautiful sniping opportunities right here. I think you unpack the piece first. Is there a place to hide in here? Just in case people come running? There's not. What about in here? There's not. I guess I could go hide in my apartment. If, if there's a place... Dude, nobody has closets these days. What, you guys don't have phones? I mean, he's asking for it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking for like a closet or like a laundry bin or something to hide in. Yeah, it's silence, but the guards are gonna, like, scatter. Unless his body falls into the drink. Oh, baby. Oh, dude. Well done, There's one. Take a look at number two right here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nasty habit. Smoking kills. Now, go conceal this, please. She littered. That's true. She littered. Now, I'm a kitchen assistant. I'm a different guy now. Different individual. A sniper rifle. The only thing I'm cooking right now is a beautiful pappardelle ragu for dinner tonight. I don't have... Murder? Murder? I don't have time for murder. I gotta cook dinner, brother. Excuse me. Hold on to that briefcase, please. It's a Samsonite. I cook with the pasta. I don't pay the taxes. That's how I like to get to work. Walkable cities. One, we have two over here. One's in the tower. It would be nice to just snipe them. Um, without having to do all the, the theatrics. It would be nice. You, you might be able to do it from the flower truck. But you might also be able... <laughs> to do it from right... I mean, this is a bit spicy. I'm hoping my briefcase doesn't fall off the edge here. You think he's standing behind a wall? He's not! Dude, this is it's actually overpowered. Like it's unbelievably good. It is brimstone. And then I think these guys the security or do they just walk across the bridge? Cuz if they just walk across the bridge, it's over. But I got to remember like I don't have to shoot the other dude in the head. 
Like, I, I could just... I could do anything to him. But I could shoot him in the head. <laughs> Let's just follow him around for a second. Duck me? I'm just not too worried about the... About the man coin at this point. If it would be easier to just finish the mission, I would I would rather just finish the mission. But honestly, <laughs> hang on, just walk me back past this. I think this is so makeable. As long as this guy doesn't see us do it. Give me a brief second here. A little worried if I stand here like I'm too much in this guy's line of sight. This spot looks pretty good though. Just wait for it. Just wait a second. You could just knock him out. More trouble than it's worth. You just pick your shot. You wait, you wait for your moment. I think this is my moment. I don't think this is my moment. He's got other boys with him. It's not your moment. <laughs> this is certainly not your moment. You know what? Maybe we'll wander around, find a better vantage point. Don't risk the whole campaign for this. Like, this guy is, is a, an easy kill. Unless we squander it. TwitchCon Vegas, yes or no? I mean, you know my thoughts on, on going to Vegas in general? I think that... Uh, I would go, but I would not go for TwitchCon. Is there an outfit in here? You know what? Hit him with something like this. Turn on, turn on the sound system. Having been to Twitch, have you ever been to TwitchCon before? I'm not trying to knock it, especially because there might be staff watching. But it's not 100% my tempo necessarily. Let's put it that way. Plus, that's where the doubters go. I'm too old for TwitchCon. I was, I mean... <laughs> Lord, forgive me, because you're about to... You're about to make me say something I regret. I would say I'm too self-aware for TwitchCon. I've been to two TwitchCons, and like one of them was like... I was like, oh, this is like kind of fun. I get to see some friends. The other one was like after um, IRL streaming like took over the platform, and it was literally just every streamer there was just filming themselves being at TwitchCon. And I was like, this sucks for me. Like, I'm, it's fine for them. I would rather just go on vacation, though then, you know, spend it. I, let me put it this way as well. I think that there's going to be a lot of uh, amazing stories that come out of TwitchCon Las Vegas, and I have no interest in being a part of any of them. I didn't even know there was a second one here. <clears throat> Just wait for this guy. Wait for this guy. Wait for this guy. I didn't know laconic was a word. Francesca. It means you're short with your words. <laughs> if I, I if I remember I correctly. I'm not the one who calls. Dude, get I the hell out of write your text and get out of here. Meet up in your room, okay? 
I'll call you as soon as Caruso lets me off the hook. And throw a kitchen knife over here to distract this guy. Not a good idea. I've decided not to do that. Oh, come on, man. I've decided to... Whoa, wood-fired pizza oven. <laughs> Can I just get a guard to come in this room? It shouldn't be this hard to get a guard outfit. Which is me saying, I know it's not this hard to get a guard outfit. I just... I'm making mistakes. Where is this camera, dude? I'm scared of the camera. It's right there. <laughs> right above my head. Okay, now it's over. It's done. It's gone. I spent it. I think the re the only reason I would I would go to TwitchCon Vegas is to spend time with my friends who are also going to TwitchCon Vegas. I'm just done with, like, convention travel to begin with, though. It's not necessarily, like, a knock on, uh, on TwitchCon more than any other convention. I mean, you could see people going crazy at PAX, too. Three lads will excuse me just a moment here. Hassan said he's only going if you go. Does he live like a like a four hour drive away? Like that's kind of a it's a little unfair. It's a bit of an asymmetric setup, quite frankly. So it's not even in the country of which I reside. And he's willing to take that drive. <laughs> well, that's that's nice. Okay, listen. I don't think he really said that anyway. But if he said it, that would be my response. <laughs> Little bro missed. thousand man coin too hey can i have a silent sniper rifle on my back if i if i'm a guard nope bro he's like oh, hew. little bro's like oh, hew. it's so funny he's snoozing bro's sleeping on the job little bro's tired oh Somebody didn't get enough sleep last night. Late night. Oh, it, you're done. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Who told NL about Lil Bro? I don't know. Everybody, every time I do anything in a game, people go, Lil Bro thinks he's on the team. What's the latest you've stayed up recently? On purpose? Probably like 11.30. Like by accident, like being woken up by my child. Well, like, I don't, it's hard to draw a delineation. Like what's, when does one go to bed and when does one wake up? When you wake up four times in a night or something like that. You're getting old? I'm just, I just got shit to do. People will be like, oh, now when I'm 34, I won't go to bed at, uh, 9.30? Okay, well, I hope you find a daycare that fits your uh, millennial influencer lifestyle. Daycare starts at 4 p.m. Oh, and don't worry if you're an hour late. That's fine. Then don't worry. We'll, uh, we know you don't own a car, so we'll go pick up your kid from your house. Hey, hey, what's, what's the problem? He's got a problem with me? Come back. Do, 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 do. Dude, he's taking forever.
Do you hear like a little kid scream there? I should have just dropped the duck, but you know what? That that train has sailed. Please just kill him. You just don't get it, do you, Scott? You just don't get it. <laughs> Gotta climb up the, the post. There you go. Now we're on the roof. Now I retrieve my sniper rifle. Now, ideally, I would, like, I know it's silenced. I would still like to wait until there's not five guards standing right next to him, just so that maybe we have a little bit of extra time to, to make our way out of the situation. So just wait him out. You know that he comes and stands over right here. Everybody's walking in the other direction. Double zoom. Put it on. Okay, body was found instantly. Conceal the item. You should get back to the safe house. I'll contact you later. Things are about to pop off a little bit, so just make sure you're you're where you want to be here. Get away from the scene. I'm not allowed up here. Go up one more floor. <laughs> I know this map well enough to know I'm not supposed to be a, a, a door with a hand. And then we'll escape via the flower shop. With the flower van. And now we've got one syndicate mission remaining on Mendoza. Hang on, we'll take the side stairs. I think we're actually going to have a chance. Being recorded by a camera is bad if you're trespassing or if the camera sees you do a crime. If you just get recorded by one, it all it does is ruin Silent Assassin unless you erase the cameras. Which is only important if it's a prestige objective you care about. See, I old me would not have been able to answer that question. Old me would have been like, I don't even know what Silent Assassin is. I don't think you're allowed to ever shoot a gun. So I think here, just use your... <laughs> little bro thinks he's the hitmail wiki. Here, just use your, your noggin. This game makes me think it's really easy to kill people. Well, that's kind of like a troubling thought. Let me say that this is all under the veil of, of being a bit. It's like probably crazy easy to kill people. Like there's multiple times every day where I'm like, someone could easily just murder me right now. Someone could drive their car into me. They could decide they don't, they're looking at their phone instead of going through, you know, stopping at a red light. They could pull out a, a gun or a knife and kill me. They could, you know, just hit me over the head with something hard. We just rely on people, like, not doing that, which is nice. They could push me onto the SkyTrain tracks or something. These aren't intrusive thoughts. I mean, these, you know. <laughs> Hang on. Just real thoughts. I had no power for four days and invented a new Family Guy character. Weird guy. I could kill someone right now. You were, work you were working on that joke for four days, Chibli? Hide bodies, eliminate guards with a sniper. Eliminate guards with an SMG. Okay, we well, I'll tell you one thing. We don't care at all about any of our prestige objectives, so just give me Silent Assassin. We're going to take... I've provided you with new intel. Whatever we can. An explosive phone is a dream come true. I would also love to take the tranquilizer gun. Just because I think that it would be nice to have. Four of eleven. I would like to take our... Assassin's pistol. I'm 
I'm not gonna worry about the sniper. <laughs> I think, I think it's too risky. And and honestly, I, I don't. On the, I had fun with it on that last mission, but I I don't think it played to my strengths. Obviously, we're gonna go gamble on some stocks. Can you imagine though if we um, if we s complete this campaign and then we start with that silent sniper on the next campaign? Psst. We could do probably like seven missions in 15 seconds. No, I'm not taking the sniper because you know what's going to happen with the sniper. I am going to shoot. I'm going to get impatient. I'm going to shoot the wrong suspect in the head. The body's going to get found. And then all the other targets are going to scatter. And I'm going to have to do some decisions that I don't want to do. Most important thing here. We got to suss out and make sure we got the right suspect. If we don't have the right suspect, it's okay to take a risk on killing them as long as nobody sees it. Or hope they all get stuck on our roof. Also true. Welcome to Benito Yates. Argentina. Oh my god, the map this is just is it's stand. chock full. We now know the leader's location. Take your time. However, you will need to do some recon to make sure you Now immediately we we have first suspect, suspect number here. 1. Well. Blonde hair. Okay. Guess what? You know You're not a suspect. They are here for a business. Although they could be blonde they but blonde shaved hair. bald. They are sporting a tattoo. They are wearing glasses. And wearing a hat. Glasses, you hat, tattoo, blonde. Suffers from allergies. And they like to read. The okay, so it's not, it's time, not you. Simply wanting to be inspired. I hope these... Because you were, you had a different tell. You're also Those not a suspect. There's two punch. handled already. You know what to do, 47. You do not have blonde hair. There's three handled already. Now we've only got six to worry about. Good start. Good start. Very economical. Now. I just need to find a staircase up. Not to get seen by Ed Harris from the Truman Show. Holy cow, could you guys chill with all the, the sussing? Look at how many people suss me. Now take me upstairs. It's nice up here, man. Smoking. Was smoking a tell? I think you have gray hair. Oh, you have blonde hair. Not not smoking. As a result, or your smoking is not one. As a result, you're not a suspect. Now you, on the other hand, glasses, hat, tattoo, blonde hair, and allergic. All we need to do if we see her read a book, it's on site. You're right. She's prime. Tailor made, sir. Actually, I'm more of a titleist man personally, but yeah, well, you know what? I'm just happy to be out on the links, brother. Have a nice day. Have a good time. Have some wine. Try the Cabernet Sauvignon. Trust me, it's a delectable vintage. I'm gonna maintain two meters of distance. Salt Bay susses me. That guy's going to turn around too. Just be careful. Is she reading a book? I just want to... If I see her read a book, it's over for her. That's where she does some of her best reading. Sus Bay. What did I tell you? I told you the Cabernet Sauvignon goes hard this year. Keep ducking. There's so many lookouts, man. Bro, there's too many lookouts. Oh, you can blend in, right. So anyway, then I said, no, I'm more of a Titleist guy. 
Ooh, are you reading a book, madam? She was, dude, she was reading a book. Or was that business meeting? That's not allergic. She's not allergic. She's reading. I think it's her. Doobie on my schlong. Thanks for the gifted subscription. Thank you. Thank you. Book symbol. Okay. My two cents. We have a remote duck. You can't suss me. Oh, we have a remote phone. Oh, it would be better to kill her stealthy, though. You're right. Because if somehow she's not the target, that would be bad. So let's just see if maybe she's got a little bit more. Maybe there's a better opportunity upstairs. Damn, Damn Daniel. At it again. With the men's warehouse. With the Moore's suit sale. Imagine if we had a lethal dart gun right now. It would be over. Tell me you didn't pop it. Tell me you didn't pop it. Okay. I tell you, I whoever thought they were. Everyone shut up, I'm trying to focus. I know it's a party, I just need you to be quiet. Bro, that's top sirloin right there. Actually, it might be cooked spam, that's even better. Why do you have to be such a baby all the time? Mr. Yates gave me No lookouts up here. A slice of meatloaf, garçon. Dude, this is this is it. Give give her something here. Put the scalpel away, Walter. Doesn't have to be on the first pass here. You can just get some intel. Maybe don't throw. Your scalpel? Maybe throw your phone because it's not illegal. And then this is like, <laughs> I don't want to blow her up because that'll scare people. She dropped the phone. What the hell was that? Why did it go? Wah? Oh, because they didn't hide her body? <laughs> no, no, no. I still don't think it's her because she dropped her phone. Are you okay? Shit. Don't worry. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, crap. Excuse me. Can I get some help over here, please? Yeah, yeah. Go, go get a guard. Go get a guard. Never mind. Good job, 47. You eliminated. It was her. Note to self if you sedate the leader. They don't drop a phone. Or they do drop their phone sometimes. It was only when they fall in a banana that apparently they don't drop their phone. Now. Exit through the entrance. Like that Destroyer song on Kaput. I think we did it. They all drop a phone. On New York, we had the target slip on a banana peel, and then they didn't drop a phone, and we murdered them, and then we came up with the true, the heuristic that the leader doesn't drop a phone when they get knocked out. But apparently they do. Well, well, well. Campaign completed. There are those who thought it couldn't be done.
and yet here we are. And actually, the the finale was like not scary at all. Hey, Impressive. took it the Keru. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. The Thank you. The the hardest mission mission on that one, Mumbai and Chongqing, pre sussed. Those were scary. Everything else was was very solid. M Nelly five one nine. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. I didn't expect a kaput reference here. Excuse me. Tuba Gooding Jr. Handsome Pansom. Thank you as well. I uh, I and Turtles Fly. Much appreciated. I'm a noted kaput enjoyer. It's one of my all time favorite Vancouver albums. It's that or I don't. Know, it's close. And thank you, Mr. McFun Pants as well. It's either kaput or it's post nothing. Hey, Dido, Bido, and equals U equals. Thank you as well. Equals underscore equals. No, we will not do hardcore mode. Well done, 47. Hard because hardcore mode, if you don't do the prestige ob prestige objective, you fail the mission. That's crazy. But being able to make poison in the in the shed seems incredible. And Mega Mega Pighead, thank you as well. Thank you. Complete again. You've successfully completed a campaign. When you are ready, select a new campaign. And I get a reward for completing it. A legendary antique curved knife that's completely straight. And we get to keep all of our gear. Oh. <laughs> I can't be stopped. Hardcore mode has been unlocked. No, thank you. Hey, Pigeon Toast. Thank you as well. Thank you. I'm, I saw someone in chat say the Kaput's one of my favorites of the 2010s. It's just a vibe, man. One of the all-time great albums to listen to about Vancouver while you walk around in Vancouver. We will not enable hardcore mode. Let me go. Let me slash marker. 